Virtual events are a great way for you to reach a wide audience, but sometimes the costs of putting on a virtual event are a lot. So here are some ways for you to put on a virtual event for free. The first one is to charge for virtual attendees a fair price for their pass. Um, this way, you know, you pass rather than you having all the costs on you, um, you pass on that cost to the consumer and the people that really want to watch the content. Um, and number two is get sponsors. Um, a lot of times sponsors are more than happy to get involved because having a virtual event is a great new way for sponsors to reach a whole new audience. Um, while you're getting target um, your sponsors, you want to make sure that you're keeping a couple things in mind to make sure you're getting the right ones. The first one is target wisely. Not every sponsor is going to want um, be interested in sponsoring a virtual event. So make sure you're picking the right ones to approach. Um, number two is make sure you're lowering the um, barrier to entry. Um, you want to offer a lot of different packages for the sponsors to get involved. Um, a lot of sponsors get intimidated you know, when you throw out a big bid or just one package. So make sure that you're lowering that barrier to entry, especially if it's your first event. Um, and then afterwards, you can always raise the price. And number three is um, you know, promote, promote the past events. When you're selling to a sponsor, you want to really tell them how great your past event was. And if it's your first event, then why don't you use an example of another company that did something similar and have them um, tell them how great that was. And a lot of sponsors will want to get involved. So now that you are all set with these tips, I encourage you to go out and put on your own virtual event for free.